Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed video and yes it's another scything video and this is to illustrate how easy it is and how it's possible to maintain a garden lawn using a scythe. When I'm doing training days and demonstration days around the country people look at me in disbelief when I say that uh, I, you know, I can maintain a lawn with a scythe. Uh, they don't seem to think it's, it's possible. But as you can see, where's the blade? It's on the ground. So it doesn't really matter whether the vegetation is two and a half inches high or two and a half feet high. It's always going to be cut at this level. So that's, uh, and the blade is set at an angle of it. So it's cutting at about an inch and a half. Uh, and that's all you need in a, in a standard lawn. You wouldn't want to go any lower than that, although people do all the time. I've seen photographs posted by so-called professional gardeners on their websites and, and social media pages showing before and after pictures of lawns that they've done and I've got to be honest the before pictures generally look better because the grass is green. The end result after they've cut is this patchy yellow and, and white uh, sad looking mess and why? Because like most people in the country they've scalped the grass. The lawnmower blades are set way too short, uh, way too low and they've just made it a mess and you think why? Every book you read on lawn care and gardening, every phone and radio show on gardening, every TV program you watch on gardening repeatedly telling you raise the height of cut on your mowers and stop scalping your lawns. Yet people still do it, year after year. It's a form of brainwashing. It's the same thing with stripes. I mean, don't get me started on stripes on lawns. Utterly, totally pointless. But anyway, that's for another video. Now that's the only time I've stopped, is just to put a, a, a keen edge back on the blade. After a few minutes of mowing. Uh, whereas with a lawnmower, uh, I'd have been stopping three or four times by now emptying the grass box and uh, I mean a lot of my clients do have lawn mowers and I've used them on occasion uh, and they're either way overpriced and oversized petrol guzzling machines that create a load of noise or they're these horrible little chatty plastic electric things so you're fanning about with cables and the grass box is about the size of a cereal, uh, breakfast cereal packet so you're emptying it after every pass of the lawn. Uh, they look like they've been designed by Fisher Price and sold at the Early Learning Centre. I mean they're really cheap and nasty bloody rubbish. Anyway, uh, I'm <laughs> sorry I'm rambling again but uh, yeah as you can see it is possible to maintain a lawn with a scythe. Now going back to the height of cut, inch and a half, why lower than that? Because if you go lower than that, you're cutting into the comb, which is the base of the grass blades. And there's no chlorophyll there. So you're going to end up revealing the white, yellow or creamy coloured base of the grass stalk. And that's why your lawns are going to be patchy. And it takes days for them to push the blade up and so it can start producing chlorophyll again. So raise the height of cut. A well pruned shrub and a well cut lawn shouldn't look like they've just been cut. They should look better. And the end result of this cut with a scythe is it looks better and it's still green. That's the important part, it's still green. Okay, thanks for watching. Get in touch and buy yourself a scythe.